Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah. No crankiness. No crankiness. Everybody needs to turn around and sit on their bottoms on the seat with the feet facing forward, please. Perfect. Thank you. Because if you're old enough to come to Bible school by yourself, you're old enough to sit by yourself, right? Yeah. That's one of our rules. Do you know what another rule we have is? Another rule that we have is when you're talking, I'm going to listen, and when you, when I'm talking, you're going to listen, right? Yeah. So if I'm talking, what are you doing? Listening. And if you're talking, what am I doing? Listening. And if you're trying, talking at the same time, who's hearing each other? Nobody. 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 And one last rule. We are here to have fun. So we are going to do everything possible to have fun and to make sure that the person sitting on our right is having fun, and the person sitting on our left is having fun, and the person way in the back being cranky is having fun secretly. That's what we're doing, we're having fun. And we're all participating, we're all coming up to the center, and we're gonna sing, and we're gonna dance, and we're gonna grow, and we're gonna learn, and it's going to be fun. For who? Everyone. Everyone. All right. All right, we are going to start with a song that we're gonna hear a lot this week, Hero Hotline. And every time this song plays, you have to stand on your feet and follow the motions. So on your feet, ready? One, two, three.
lot of work. Hello, fellow heroes. Hello. I, I am Professor Jane, and I am so glad you've come. You're just in time. We're getting urgent calls on our hotline and need assistance helping heroes around the world. Here at Hero Hotline Headquarters, we support heroes in the field. Helping heroes is our business. And business is too good. We're getting calls every hour. We just can't keep up. First, we tried to answer the hotline with just one hero. But we can't help everyone that way. Last week, Thermo Boy, he was on hold so long, his shoes melted before we could tell him how to change the batteries. We've learned that our work needs to be all hands on deck. We are called together to serve because we are stronger when we are together. The big boss sent over Supermere, who's an expert on heroes working together. I've not met this hero yet, but Supermere's reputation is amazing. Has anyone seen this legendary hero that I'm talking about? Supermere. No one has seen Supermere? You think it's him? Oh, oh, are you okay over there, Supermere? Yes, I crash in all the time. I'm working on my teleportation. I just popped in the continent of Africa. Oh, so you are a Supermere, right? What's up? Okay. You want me to read this out loud to introduce you. Okay. <clears throat> Who is able to burrow underground? Who is able to leap termite hills in a single bound? Who will come to your aid, whether near or far? It's none other than Supermere! Ta-da! Thank you. Thank you very much. It is I, Supermere, at your service. I was sent by the big boss for an urgent matter. Yes, thank you, Supermere. We're having problems with the hotline. Ah, uh, yes, the hotline. I have a solution. Insulated gloves or pot holders. That's the only way you can hold the line without getting burned from such hot a line. No, 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 no. Not that kind of line. It's the phone that heroes call when they need help. It's the hotline. Oh, of course. Just testing your super humor powers. <laughs> super Mirror, um, I hope this doesn't sound rude, but what are you? Why, I'm a superhero, just like all of you. No, I mean, what? Are you? Why, I'm the member of the most elite, well-organized, Mammalanian family on the planet. I'm a lead sentry for our queen, and I've been training in the fine art of foraging. Oh, I thought you were a mongoose. A mongoose? Well, they're not family, but I'm a meerkat. Amazing! A talking meerkat! Amazing! A talking meerkat! Do you know what's more amazing? Um, no. A spelling bee. Get it? A spelling bee? Uh, are all meerkats as funny as you? Well, I don't want to brag, but... Anyway, let's get back to the matter at hand. There have been so many calls to the hotline that we've had to call in these heroes, these heroes right here in front of me, to offer help. Could you help us learn how to serve together? But of course, I have a guaranteed five-step process for a successful hero teamwork. All heroes are called to... They're called to... Is there something wrong, Supermere? Is there something I can help you with? Well, it seems that I have misplaced my journal with all my notes. Oh, well, perhaps we should listen to another song and try to dance along, right? And I'll help you find your journal. The first shall be last, the last shall be first That's what he says Love your enemy even when it hurts That's what he says Cause heroes are called to sacrifice So the giver of life And in the end it's worth the price to be more like Jesus La 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 If you wanna be a hero Well first you 
use my super memory. They don't call me super mirror for nothing. I bet these heroes out here are so no What seems to be the emergency? The super velcro strings have been trying, trying to put together a group of heroes for a special mission, but they can't seem to find the right people. They've had heroes like Magnetica, Tape Man, and Sticky Steve, but none of them worked out for the mission. So they asked if we could find the right heroes for their team. Well, we Meerkats are very good at working as one team. Do you have your hero reference manual? I sure do. Let's look up the proper selection of team members. Well, it looks like there's a case study here in the books of John. Hmm, let's take a look. When putting together a team of heroes, it's very important to choose the right people, even if the people don't seem like heroes to you and me. In the book of John, we learn that John the Baptizer was preparing people for Jesus' coming. He had a bunch of followers. One day, as he was talking to them, he saw Jesus walk by and told his followers, Look, this is the Lamb of God. John's followers had been taught to look for Jesus. So when they saw him, they decided to follow him. As they followed Jesus, he turned to them and asked, What are you looking for? Instead of answering Jesus' question, they asked him a question. Rabbi, where are you staying? Jesus replied, come and see. So they did. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of those who first followed Jesus was a man named Andrew. 
He was so excited to meet Jesus that he went to tell his brother Simon. We have found the Messiah, said Andrew. So Andrew took Simon to Jesus. When Jesus saw Simon, he said, Hey, you rock! Oops, the comma's in the wrong place. I meant to say, hey, you, rock. In other words, Jesus was giving Simon the new name of Peter, or Cephas, which both mean rock. When they came to the town of Galilee, Jesus saw a man named Philip, and said, Philip, come join my team. Philip agreed, but first went to tell his friend about Jesus. He looked for his friend, Nathaniel, and told him that he found Jesus, the son of Joseph, the carpenter from Nazareth. Nathaniel said, Can anything from Nazareth be good? Philip said, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathaniel, he said, Here is a genuine Israelite in whom there is no deceit. How do you know me? asked Nathaniel. I saw you sitting under the fog tree before Philip called you, said Jesus. <coughs> Wait, what's a fog tree? Ah, a fig tree. That makes more sense. Yes, Jesus saw him sitting under a fig tree. Philip exclaimed, Whoa, you are the Messiah. Jesus said, You believe me because I told you I saw you under the fig tree, but you haven't seen anything yet. These were just some of the first followers of Jesus. Now I know these guys don't really seem like heroes yet. But after a few years of following Jesus, this group became heroes that changed the world. God can use any of us to do great things. And that's how it happened in the Bible. That's how it happened in the Bible. Those heroes didn't act or look like heroes at first. I wonder how Jesus knew who to choose for his team. I'd like to learn more about this along the, with the heroes out there. Do you have any CI kits here at Hero Hotline headquarters that could help us? We sure do. Sidekicks are a part of the research department. They should be able to give us more details on this case study. Great. Let's send those heroes off to do some research to help the Super Voco twins. Perfect. But before we do, we need to know, make sure that everyone knows the hotline verse. It's an important part of helping others. Yes, we say the hotline verse in our den every day. It is Romans 14, 19. It says, so let's strive for the things that bring peace and the things that build each other up. All right, we're going to try to say that together. Where is it found? Romans 18, 19. <laughs> Romans 18, 19. And we're going to say it with our voice and with our hands. Yeah. Oh, I remember. So let's strive, so let's strive, so it's left, right, left, right. Let's strive for the things <laughs> yeah, that bring peace, ready? So peace goes like this, your hands are like this, and then like that, and then out to the world. Craziness, togetherness, spread it out. So let's strive for the things that bring peace and the things that build each other up. Ooh, it's pretty easy, right? No. <laughs> so let's strive for the things that bring peace and the things that build each other up. Romans what? Very cool. Downstairs, when you go downstairs for, for your different classes, there is a big, huge poster that has it on it. And when you learn it this week, if you tell it to me or someone else wearing the cape, you get to put your name on a lightning bolt and put it on there. And on Sunday, we'll bring it up here and everybody will see. Who knows Romans 18, 19? 14, 19. We're going to go with Romans 14, 19. <laughs> Sing sang right in my head that time. <laughs> so let's strive for the things that bring peace. I messed that up. And the things that build each other up. All right. Whew, good job. We're going to talk more about that and our hotline tip of the day. Hotline tip of the day. 
later, but you might want to peek on your way out. But right now, I'm going to let all of the adults who are not walking around with little kids go get ready. So if you're in the kitchen, if you're in the craft room, if you're in the science room, good luck with that that experiment. Okay. I've never been on there and talked to you guys. 